I think there's generally uh, um, people are looking to go into higher education, people see higher education as much higher status. Um, but what we're finding is a lot of the people that are coming out of higher education actually also lack skills. Where we're, we're trying to push vocational education training now is to give people the competences they need within uh, a particular industry sector. I think public sentiment on uh, vocational education differs in different countries and certainly further education has always been seen as perhaps not as good as you know the traditional course of compulsory moving into higher education but you can't get away from the fact that the economic impact of sending one person to higher education is not as great when you look at the investment in sending four or five people to further education. I would love to see it have the same status as any other kind of uh, education. I don't think there's a hierarchy of what and how and where you study. I think what I would like to see for vocational education in the future is creativity, respect for talent, uh, respect for a job well done, respect for professionalism. When I left sixth form, sixth form, when I was doing AS levels, I thought my life was like over because no one had told me that I could go on and do something different and it was still possible for me to do that. I thought it was either you go to college or you go to sixth form. Well, not everybody um, when they're young or, or any age wants to go through education. Um, my wife's a perfect example. She left school at, at 15 with no qualifications. Um, whatsoever. The main thing that she wanted to do was to earn uh, enough money to fund her going out, making clothes, buying records, going to watch bands. Um, luckily she was able to put that making clothes element into a business but that she fell, she fell into that by chance. Um, you know we at Hemingway Design we take on apprentices and we see the same thing in, in, in young people that, uh, that that Geraldine had was that, that desire um, to get stuck in uh, rather than rather than go to college and n not everybody is the same. So definitely it is schools and colleges that need to be given uh, the best advice what they need to be doing is not just presenting college and, <laughs> and university as the only options to get into the industry there's so many successful people um, out there that haven't got degrees it's not the only way um, you know to get employed in the creative sector we need to incorporate workplace learning. Uh, you, people just cannot learn only in the school or only in the classroom. They need to open their, their horizons and, and see what they are actually going to do once they join their labour force. So I think within the future people will find themselves learning on the job rather than doing two, three years of college and then going out into the world. I think it will be much more of a seamless transition to start college maybe do a year here, move on to an employer or do part-time and then you either get, get employment from that or you, at least you'll have good experience to take with you anyway. That to have the relationship between an actual employee and the students who are learning to go to those places, it builds a bridge because a lot of people do finish state university and still not sure what the next step could be, whereas in a college you're preparing to work towards a goal, you're preparing to work towards a company, like most of us here might have already have an idea in my head, by the time I finish I want to work there, because you've been introduced to it gradually, so you know you have the goal to reach and I think it helps a lot as well. Um, the job that you want in the future, what would it be? I would say I'm a physiotherapist. I'm just interested in learning injuries and telling people how to fix it. Like basically like a sports doctor. What you guess? Sports that's a pretty title. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I would like to see in the future anyway is being more focused on work experience, finding out what these students want to actually do. Because you, you hear enough of these people going to work and they just get stressed because it's not really what they want to do, you know, they're stuck behind a desk. And uh, I think it's all about finding what people are really passionate about. 
Historically, employers have always been on one side of the room, educators at the other side of the room. But now there is a real drive to, to make sure that they meet in the middle. Uh, if education is going to be effective, if it's going to achieve its objectives of making people economically viable, of making sure that um, you know, a country's economy is, is flourishing and, and, and growing, you have to have that common ground between educators and employers. I think that the main players uh, who are going to play the main role in vocational, practical vocational education are the labor market representatives. They have to play the, this role because they are the beneficiary. As a, a manufacturer, we need to invest in our industry, whether that's time working with students so that they have the skill set that they can come into our industry and basically, at the end of the day, earn us money, because that's what we're all here for. There's no, you know... Commerciality. There's be commerciality to everything we do. And so it's just a little bit about, I suppose it's securing our future.